since she arrived in this country, everyone has been like... Alan! 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 So why is Australia so fascinated with Ellen DeGeneres? Well, most of us were first introduced to Ellen in 1994, when she had a sitcom called... Alan! Which was hugely popular until she did this. I'm so afraid to tell people. I mean, I just... I'm gay. It was a big deal. Advertisers left, ratings dropped off and the show was cancelled. But Ellen had defined herself as a pioneer of gay rights. I belong with everybody else. And that's what I finally did. After another brief sitcom, Ellen was cast as Dory, the forgetful fish that stole every scene in Pixar classic Finding Nemo. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Taking Dory's advice, Ellen got her own talk show and revealing the real Ellen once again won over fans and again forced the world to confront its homophobia. He was outed as being gay on the internet and he killed himself. Something must be done. She also danced her way into our hearts, exposed some of the world's youngest talents. And introduced them to their idols. You said that you love Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. Do you want to meet her? Yes! Come on out, Nicki! Never one to shy away from sharing matters of the heart, Ellen also let her viewers in as she married her partner, Aussie actress Portia de Rossi. You look beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop looking at her. So now she's on our shores to the delight of fans in Sydney and Melbourne. And tonight, Ellen and Portia are the guests of honour at a black tie function in Melbourne where everyone on the red carpet outside is screaming, Ellen! 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 One of those people screaming, Ellen, is Magdalena Rise. Mags, have you spotted Ellen yet? Look, I'm really gutted because I'm a massive fan of Ellen. I absolutely love her and I haven't seen her yet. I only just arrived, but I hear she's not far off, so we might actually see her turn up on the red carpet. But thousands of Melbournians lined up to see her. In fact, one of the biggest crowds she's ever had, and I think the take-home message out of all of this is that Melbourne beat Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Mags, uh, neither leader of our major political parties is going to this cocktail party tonight, but somebody you have there is very close to one of them, Tony Abbott's sister, Christine Foster. Uh, she must be very excited. Yeah, she joins me here now. Thank you so much for being with us, uh, Christine. Yeah, hi, it's, it's fantastic to be here. It's very exciting. I'm really over the moon. Now, obviously, this is a very, very hard ticket to get. How did you come to get it? Well, to be honest, I actually don't know how I get this turned up in the mail. I, I, I feel a little, little bit like Charlie in the, in the chocolate factory because I've got the golden ticket. Uh, Virginia and I, we, we were both invited to come down and hopefully we're going to meet Ellen and we're as excited about it as everybody else is. So it's fantastic. Everyone is so giddy and look, if you have the chance to meet her, what would you like to say? Well, hi. Um, <laughs> hi, Ellen. Uh, we love you. No, no. Uh, seriously, look, it's just great to have somebody like Ellen and Portia come to Australia. I mean, they are icons, really. Uh, they're icons in the, the gay and lesbian community. They're icons in the straight community. I mean, Ellen, is she's just a wonderful person. She's a wonderful personality. She makes people happy. Uh, and we are just as excited as everybody else to be here, firstly, and to maybe get the chance to meet her. Just be absolutely Absolutely fantastic. Hey Christine, uh, it's Carrie here. We've seen uh, Ellen's mum out with her as well, enjoying her time and being so supportive of her daughter. How important is it for family to support you in your decision to marry? Do you think having Ellen in town could convince your brother Tony to change his mind on gay marriage? Well, look, I keep chipping away at that. So, so, I mean, it all helps. Anything I can do that 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 puts it that puts that position of mine out there uh, is all good. Uh, you know, Tony listens, we talk, and it's a, it's a discussion that's, go, that's still going on. So with a bit of luck, uh, events like this, you know, they, they let people see that love is love, it's a celebration, and it's a great thing if, if we can all, uh, all the people that want to be married, have the opportunity to be married. Now, Max, uh, who else is going along tonight? Are all the celebrities there? Ellen. And most importantly... Oh, what? Oh, 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 Ellen! Oh. Max, 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 go there now! Yes, be intrusive, Max. <laughs> be rude to others. Push people out of the way. What are you doing Get holding back? back? Who's that guy in the white polo neck? Get rid of him. 
<laughs> He's had enough time. Move him away. Jump the fence, Max. We give you permission to jump that barrier. <laughs> no. <laughs> Twitch. Just in case. Well, can you just at least ask her where she got her suit? It looks great. Um, uh, Mags, have a great night and a big thank you also to Christine for joining us. Thanks, Mags is gone. Oh, Mags is off. She, she doesn't, doesn't care anymore. Well, I, look, I, I'm not going to get upset at Ellen for uh, interrupting my question there. <laughs> People love Alan, uh, and these fans made special T-shirts for Alan, and you'll never guess the story behind them. Tam, did you make your T-shirt? Um, yes, yes. <laughs> we did. We did. Why did you start to this? Because um, we love Alan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was the obvious answer. <laughs> but what I love about celebrities visiting in Australia is that the whole nation comes together and puts old rivalries aside, as Alan found out today. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm Erin. I'm from Sydney. I flew here. Where's the love? What happened? And you are? Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm from I think the third guy wasn't even from Melbourne. He was from Brisbane, but he was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Plenty more to come. A rousing reception for Ellen DeGeneres, who's declared Melbourne fans simply amazing after around 5,000 people turned up to see her film her talk show on the banks of the Yarra River. And we left Magdalena Rose. We left on a cliffhanger earlier in the show. She was trying to chase Ellen down the red carpet. She managed to catch up with Ellen. Here's how it went down. Ellen, what's been the best part of your trip? The best part of the trip? I don't know if there's a best part of the trip. The people have been the best part, really. The people have been amazing and uh, embracing and, uh, you know, I just, I mean, obviously I love everything about it. I love the architecture, I love the trees, I love the wildlife, I love everything, but it's the people. Aww. I could listen to Ellen talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> something about it. She, cool. she, couldn't, she couldn't ask where she got the suit? I mean, it was, <laughs> it's just one question. It's, uh, you went there, Charlie, you went there.